Stay tuned for the giveaway details at the end of the video. Okay, greetings fellow adults, Tino here. Uh, I'm making this video as my personal take on the question, does it matter which university you go to? I'm going to tackle this by sharing my own personal experiences of how going to UCT, what some might consider a top university, how going to UCT helped me with my career. What about UCT and what it has to offer helped me get to where I am right now and, and if I didn't go to UCT, if I went to a different university, how different would things have turned out? I didn't want this video to be too long, so I split it up into two different parts. The first video, which is this one here, I will discuss my learning experience. How good was my learning experience at UCT? And in my next video, I'm going to talk about how UCT contributed towards my career. After all, the main reason why we go to university is to increase our chances of getting a job after we graduate. You know, learning is sort of like a side effect. The University of Cape Town, otherwise known as UCT, is a fairly expensive university. I mean, I knew it was expensive before I got there, but I think I only found out in like second or third year that it was the most expensive university in South Africa. My parents knew it was a costly endeavor to send me to UCT. However, they believed that UCT was so good, it was worth the cost. They were willing to invest in me. They were willing to do whatever it took to get me to UCT. Gotta love my parents. While going to UCT brought me to where I am right now, you should know that most people in my position did not go to UCT. And speaking of top universities, I've been saying that quite a lot. Let's discuss what a top university is. A top university is one that is usually at the top. <laughs> no, I'm joking. A top university is one that usually ranks up in the top 10 or 20 percent of most university rankings. Uh, in South Africa, there's like 26 ish universities. So, top universities would be the ones in the that consistently appear in the top five or maybe the top 10 lists. I'm not going to give examples because I don't want to start a war, but UCT is one of those universities. They are very prestigious and often very expensive. They have the money to build pretty buildings every year. They have shuttles that go pretty much all over the city. Their entry requirements are very strict and they're also very selective and choosy when it comes to who they accept into their university. Insanely smart and hardworking people are in literally every single university out there. However, top universities will often have a greater proportion of those very smart and hardworking people. And as a consequence, you'll find that lecturers can get into a class and be confident that everyone in the class is either very smart or very hardworking. That means they can give them more work they can give them harder assignments, harder exams, you know, that kind of thing. Now, onto the learning experience. How good was UCT when it came to teaching me engineering things that I need to know? UCT has very smart and competent professors and lecturers, but so does literally every other university out there. Usually money is the only thing lacking. Unfortunately, my engineering lecturers were horrible. I mean, there were a few good lecturers here and there, but like most of them were really bad. Math, physics, and computer science, those usually had very good lecturers, but when it came to electroengineering, phew, ah, don't get me wrong, they are all very smart people. Like if you are to, to strike a conversation about a specific interesting topic in their niche, yeah, you'll have, uh, you know, awesome discussions. Unfortunately, when it comes to teaching, hey, I think UCT hires very smart people who are awesome when it comes to research, but I think they, they try to force them to teach or something. I don't know that they're really bad when it comes to actually lecturing and teaching. However, when it comes to supporting their students, UCT does a very good job. You can have the best lecturer in the whole world, but you will still have to spend a lot of time outside that lecture if you really want to excel in the course because actually that's where most of the learning is done and i think this is where the topness of uct actually pays off they basically have enough money to make your life easier you are basically paying for convenience when you pay those exorbitant fees you are paying for good internet good transport good access to like labs and all those things all my courses had lab sessions and tutorial sessions where we could reach out to the lecturers and 
the tutors, you know, for more assistance. My calendar was always full from like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. First year to fourth year, I actually couldn't believe I had 8 a.m. lectures in fourth year. That was really rude. There's great Wi-Fi across the whole campus, every single lecture, uh, lecture theater. I actually, yeah, I think if you're like five or 10 meters away from any UCT building, you're gonna have Wi-Fi. All bedrooms in res have Wi-Fi or at least have an ethernet cable. I mean, you might be unlucky and land in a bedroom that has like a crappy connection, but you're usually like a five or 10 minute walk away from your nearest study room or your nearest uh, computer lab or, you know, library. There are lots of student programs and initiatives that are designed to basically improve the learning experience of students. For example, when I was in second year, I was part of the house committee of my res and we had this initiative where we set up a, like a small computer lab for, uh, for our res. That meant that people didn't have to like walk 10 minutes to the nearest computer lab anymore. They can just go to our study room. I mean, back then it was only like two or three computers, but by now I'm pretty sure there's a lot more computers there. That's just my example. You can imagine how many you know initiatives are happening in all races and all different societies. During tough times like the Rona lockdown or back in the during the Feast Month 4 protest, UCT would actually lend laptops to students who don't have access to like computer labs. If you're doing courses that require specialized or expensive equipment, that equipment is usually made available for you. When I was doing my final year project on distributed computing, I had access, free and limited access to our, to one of our massive servers and I could do all my testing and stuff on that massive server. I can go on, but I think you get the idea. UCT has facilities for days. With all that said, with all that UCT has to offer, all the awesome benefits, the great facilities, if I'd gone to a different university, I can say with great confidence that I would have still performed just as well or if not better than I did at UCT. Not to sound cocky, I'm definitely about to sound cocky, but I'm a hardworking straight A person. I will get distinctions and straight A's wherever I go. There's a very good reason why you get people from like super poor schools that don't even have internet access, but somehow they come up with like crazy ass results. UCT will not make you an A student. UCT will not make you a smart person. UCT will not make you a hardworking person. Only you are able to do that. I mean, UCT might make your life a little bit easier when it comes to achieving those goals through you know the facilities that they, they have to offer but you know it's literally all up to you anyways you do need to understand that this is one person's experience okay one person uct enrolls thousands of people every single year i studied electrical and computer engineering so i did a total of 36 courses over four years and that means i you know came across like 40 or so lecturers there are literally hundreds of courses and hundreds of lecturers there are people who have had terrible experiences at uct but there are also people who feel like uct was the best time of their lives you know their opinions differ please do share your own experiences down in the comments i would like to know how your learning experience was at whatever university that you went to was it what you expected before you started learning there you know how is it different from what i've described in this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to let me know by hitting the like button and if you'd like more content make sure to also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the, the, the bell icon because you know that's a thing i would greatly appreciate that okay so the giveaway it has been an awesome nine months since i started my channel back in you know august last year i'd like to thank all my beautiful and responsible fellow adults out there for supporting me by you know liking my videos commenting on the videos subscribing to my channel sharing my videos with other friends you know all that like i really appreciate all those all those things i can't express how much of a confidence boost i get when i receive messages from people i've never met before you know telling me how they actually enjoy my content and find you know a lot of it really useful you know it wasn't very hard coming up with the with the giveaway prize if there's one thing adults will always appreciate it's money 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 so, I'm giving away 500 rands to a random subscriber. I wish I could give more, but you know, my budget just was not allowing for that. Uh, there are three ways to enter the competition. First, you can leave a comment with a video suggestion. I would really appreciate that. If you don't have a suggestion, you know, just comment, say hi if you have to. The second way to enter the competition is to go to my Twitter and then like and retweet my latest tweet, the tweet I used to promote this video. Link is in the description. The third way you can enter is to go to my Instagram and then like and comment on my latest Instagram post. Yeah, that's it. That's three ways you can enter. You don't have to do all three. You only have to do one. But if you do all three, you actually increase your chances of winning because 
I'm gonna, you know, make a list of all the different names from my comment section, my Twitter, and my my Twitter tweet, and my Instagram post, and then select a random winner from those guys. Competition ends on 12 June, and I will announce the winners in the video that comes after that. I'll try to reach out to you before the the video before I actually announce the winner. Feel free to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's not a requirement for the competition. But okay, if you'd like to see more of me, then YouTube is confident you're gonna enjoy watching this video here. If you watch that one, maybe check out this one here.